Hi, this is Vicki Boyd, editor of The Grower Magazine. Today I'm at the Blue Diamond Almond Cooperative's 101st Annual Meeting. Over the years, the Modesto-based almond cooperative has gone from handling a few thousand pounds of nuts to handling millions of pounds of nuts a year. And over the years, they've come up with new and innovative ways to use almonds, not just as a snack food. But what we in America like may not go over as well in other markets such as Europe and Japan. Bob Carroll of Blue Diamond explains the steps they go through to develop products suited just for that market. The first step it will take is to going into the market itself and doing a survey of the different grocery stores. So we'll spend a lot of time in grocery stores looking at what are the flavors in, in the main snacks. So in the UK, for instance, we'll go to the chip or crisp aisle and look at the big flavors. Um, and then we'll actually do some work to see how those flavors work with almonds. In Asia and Japan in particular, dried fish and um, you know, dried vegetables are a lot more common for snacks. And so we actually have paired dried fish with our almonds, with roasted almonds in Japan, and it's been a very, very big hit for us. And in the end, all this research and develop means healthier snack foods for the consumer and healthy returns for the cooperative's grower members.